Good morning, everyone. So today is a Friday, and I thought that I would take you on a little tour of my day. I thought that this would be a good day to sort of sort of show you what goes into the life of an athlete. If people ask me now that I'm not in school, what do you fill your days with? And honestly, it's appointments. <laughs> I see a massage therapist, physiotherapist, active release therapist, what else? Chiropractor and mental performance consultant, which is a sports psychologist. And I'm just about to leave to go to the gym to lift. And then I have a physio appointment basically right after that. And then I'm going to come home and then I have an appointment on FaceTime with my mental performance consultant. And then I have to go back to the pool to swim, practice. To put the week into context for you guys, Friday is a little bit easier of a day for us. We swim every weekday afternoon, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday morning. I lift Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, bike after that on Monday, Wednesday, and then after practice Tuesday morning, we also do yoga. It kind of, I guess, peters off a little bit by the, by the end of the week. Thursday and Saturdays are usually pretty hard practices for us, so Friday is a little bit easier. It's still still work but uh yeah it's it's not quite as hard as thursdays and saturdays are i'll take you through the day and i'll show you a little bit about what i'm eating i won't go too in depth with that i'm gonna make some videos about like what i eat in a day and actually show you how i make my food and prep and things like that this will just be yeah a little video to show you what the day in the life of an athlete is like let's get started I am having half of one of these guys. I find it kind of difficult to eat food in the morning when I first wake up. So I'm just gonna get a little something, something in my belly so that I'm not starving. Good rule of thumb with bars is the simpler the better. So we arrived at the parking lot of the gym and the pool. And some of you may be asking, hey Rachel, why do you have so many therapists? And the answer to that is that it never used to be that way. I started seeing a chiropractor when I injured my back in my second year of university. I started seeing a physiotherapist on a regular basis when I tore the cartilage in my shoulder. I started seeing just last this year actually um, an active release therapy to help with that too. It's a ongoing process. It needs a lot of maintenance. So I see those two therapists kind of in at the same time to help deal with my shoulder and just niggles that come up throughout the week. The th therapist I guess that I've seen kind of consistently since I was young was a massage therapist which is just good maintenance and then and then the sports psychologist and been with the same mental performance consultant or sports psychologist lady for like almost 10 over 10 years now. I started seeing her when I was 15 or 14 and the all the other ones kind of got added in as I got older and things don't recover as quickly Have all these support systems in place to make sure that you can get everything you can out of your body every practice I have all these people kind of in my court to help me out with that and make sure that my body is running optimally so that's that. It never used to be that way, but now it is. You don't recover and you don't bounce back so much as you used to when you were 18, 10 years later. But that's okay. We're still gone. It's still good. <laughs> Hi. 
investigating? Yeah. Hello, so I just got home from the gym and then I have, it's 11.18, so I have about an hour before my appointment with my psychologist. I went to the physio to get my neck worked on a little bit. It's kind of, it's a little funky this week. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I could film at the place that I got the physio at, so I didn't film any of that stuff, but usually it's work on my shoulders or something related to my shoulders. Just constantly having to get maintenance and those things. I'm a breaststroker, and so breaststrokers often get issues with their hips and knees and stuff like that too, so little niggles like that will pop up as well from time to time. Who knows, maybe next week I'll have something on my lower body that's not <laughs> functioning properly. We'll find out. Anyways, I'm gonna just take a quick shower and then I'll get cooking and show you guys what I have for lunch. I'm sort of my Monday, Wednesday, Fridays after I left. Now that I am nice and clean, I'm going to start making some food. First things first is putting the kettle on for some tea. Show you my tea drawer. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I drink Red Rose. It's just a simple, plain old, regular, regular black tea by the gallon. It is not the most glamorous, but it still tastes good. Mm. I'm just making my way through my eggs and bagel and ham cheese and I got my tea ready to go. I have a little bit of sugar and regular dairy milk in there. This is so weird. I grew up with dairy milk so it's just what I've always stuck to. If you want to have oat milk, have oat milk. If you want to have almond milk, I don't know if that would work in tea but if you want to do that, do that. If you want to have soy milk, do that. Whatever you want. It don't matter, it all works. I'm gonna have one of these little guys too and some of my own homemade granola that has lots of tasty things in there. I'll make a video sometime for you guys to show you how I make my homemade granola. It's something that I just started doing like a couple weeks ago. Granola is one of those quote unquote healthy foods that's a little bit sneaky. They make you think that it's a healthy thing to eat and then look at the ingredients and there's a whole lot of sugar and added yuckiness to it that's really not that good. If you make it at home, you know exactly what's in it. Instead of having all these additives and things like that, it's just nice, simple, clean eating that's good for you. So I just finished lunch and I'm gonna have my meeting with my mental performance consultant in the next few minutes here. So I'll do that and then I'll be heading out to the pool. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Team number two. Sorry for the lights. I'll be heading out to practice right now. We have a two hour pool session right now. Again, Friday's a little bit easier, hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I say that now and it might end up being really hard. <laughs> Who knows? Well, hopefully I can get some video at the pool of that and then I'll talk to you guys again after.
guys, so I just got back from practice and this guy is super pretty outside. Gotta appreciate the small things in life. I had a little meeting with one of the younger athletes on our team to talk about school in the US. So whilst we talked, I had a tea latte with milk in it, which was delicious, and half of a M&M cookie, which I'm gonna eat later. I like to live by the rule of like, 90%, 10% or 80%, 20% where you eat healthy and clean food most of the time, but then you also, you know, allow yourself to have the stuff that you want to have in moderation. So if I want to have a cookie or if I want to have a pizza one day, then I'm going to have a cookie or a pizza. As long as I'm eating good most of the time, I don't feel bad or like I'm doing anything wrong by letting myself enjoy the finer things in life. So now I'm gonna make dinner. I'm gonna have a steak. I've been having a lot of chicken um, the past little while and so I feel like I need a little bit of red meat. I don't think I've had red meat actually all week. So yeah, I'm gonna make a steak tonight. Just been feeling like my body needs that. And I made some sweet potato fries at home earlier this week. Just in the oven with salt and pepper and chili powder. I also have some steamed broccoli that I'm going to eat with that as well. So I'll show you what that looks like. So here's my din din. I have the steamed broccoli, the sweet potato fries from the day before, and steak. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through the whole steak, but we'll see how it goes. I surprised myself, so maybe I will. Didn't make it through the whole steak, so I'm gonna save it for later. Good for a little snack. Tea number three, and the rest of my cookie. Look at this bed. It's got a dent. It's pretty. Okay guys, so that's basically it. I'm probably just gonna work on editing this video for the rest of the evening. I might have a little snack before I go to bed. But yeah, that's, that's all we got for today. I hope you enjoyed coming with me throughout my day. There's practice tomorrow morning so I'll probably be going to bed at 10 or 11 or something like that. We don't swim till 8 o'clock so that's a bit of a sleep in I guess. Lots of people are usually getting up a lot earlier than that for their Saturday morning practice so it's kind of nice to get a little bit of a sleep in. Throughout the day too I've been drinking lots of tea but I've also been drinking a lot of water. That's just kind of a given as an athlete I would say. If you have any questions about what you saw in the video or any questions about anything at all, just please contact me through comments in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram or anything like that. Talk to me in real life. <laughs> that's always good too. And everybody's being super supportive about these videos, so that's awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in and for watching. I'll post another video again soon. Thanks! Hope to see you again soon. Bye. Tea number four. And then this is three rice cakes with a banana and peanut butter and some honey. This is one of my favorite snacks. And then I'm probably gonna go to bed. <laughs>